Welcome to the Surrey Papers. Today I want to discuss about the black hole picture and its um, fundamental contradiction. So here's the picture that has gone through the medias. Um, and it shows basically a black hole with a corona around it. The question is, how should one understand this corona? So I took this picture, um, which basically gives you kind of a 2D, um, two-dimensional rendering. I simplified this uh, with a simple abstract um, with the black hole in the middle and the corona around it. And then I flipped it by 90 degrees and then you can see it has kind of a disc shape with the black hole in the middle and kind of like Saturn rings around the black hole. So what does that actually mean? If the black hole has a corona around it, that means that um, all the light in the x-axis would be sucked into the black hole, but the light in the y-axis would not, and therefore we see a corona. The consequence of this is that F2 would be greater than F1. The problem with this is that there is no theoretical explanation that the x-axis force would be larger and the y-axis force. So, if we take the standard black hole theory that the um, gravitational forces is in the same in all directions, then F1 equals F2, the picture would then look basically like a round orange ball um, that would cover the black hole. So using my special algorithm, F1 equals F2, the new picture of the black hole looks like the sun. Of course, we can do that with all three dimensions. So if F1 equals F2 equals F3, then the picture would look like an orange ball again. So using my special F1 equals F2 equals F3 algorithm, I get again a picture that looks like the sun without a black hole in it. So my conclusion is that someone at, at MIT did not think their algorithms through. So I'm not so sure if we should take this black hole serious, this black hole picture serious. So let me uh, know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Uh, be around soon. Thanks, bye.